right, so here's a very simple intuitive relationship, right? Yeah. If you have uh, if you have two exponents with the same base set equal to each other, then you know that their powers have to be the same, right? In this case, if b to the power of x is equal to b to the power of y, then x and y have to be equivalent to each other. And so based on that uh, relationship, okay, uh, you sh should be able to solve any exponential equations that have multiple exponents in them. And so if you have uh, an equation with two exponents, okay, meaning two different expressions where x is in the, in the power, Okay. You can uh, use the following steps to solve this type of question. All right, the first step is uh, you're going to uh, rewrite the equation, making sure you have exponents with the same base. Okay, so here we have an exponent with base 9 and base 27, so they're not the same. Is there a common base that we can rewrite each of those exponents? Yeah, that base is 3. So we can say 9 is 3 squared to the x plus 1, 27 is 3 cubed to the x minus 1. Okay, once we get... Uh, the expression rewritten, you can apply any properties to simplify that expression. Okay, so here we can simplify these the powers in these exponents. Taking a power to a power, you would multiply. So 2 times x plus 1 base 3 of 3 times x minus 1. Again, power to power, you multiply their powers. And the next step would be to uh, just equate these powers. Okay, so if you have two exponents whose bases are equal, <clears throat> then that means that their powers also have to be equal. So all we need to do is worry about two times x plus 1, set it equal to 3 times x minus 1, and then solve the resulting equation. Okay, so here we can distribute our 2, distribute our 3, and solve that equation. So it just is a linear equation. We subtract the x's, move them to one side, move all the constants over to the other side. We get 5 is equal to x, and that would be our solution. Okay, you do want to make sure on all of these you check your solutions. It's just a good idea. Okay, and so you can check them by plugging them back in, um, or you can verify it on the calculator, which I'm going to show right here as well. Okay, I'll open this up here in a second. Okay, but if we wanted to verify this, uh, we could uh, plug it into the solve feature of our calculator, enter it exactly as it appears, 9 to the power of x plus 1. Set that equal to 27 to the power of x minus 1. Solve for x. And when we do, it confirms x equals 5 is our solution.